One of the biggest problems that businesses face at the moment is how long it takes for their debtors to pay them. And, you know, in any downturn, cash is king. So the advice we're giving to our businesses is look very carefully at your cash and collect your cash whenever you can. Now, we know many small businesses will suffer because larger businesses will inevitably take longer to pay them. And that's what the Enterprise Finance Guarantee is all about. It's a guarantee that the government provides to the bank to help viable businesses where those businesses have no more security to give. So it's a substitute for security, if you like. Uh, and we work with the government to get those guarantees, and that enables, us the ba enables the bank to lend money to viable businesses, as I say, when they have no more security to give. When we talk about viability, simply what that means is, if we lend you money, can we see a way for that money to be repaid? That's what we mean by, by viability. And we try and help our business customers to understand how they best do that. So when we speak with a business, we would like to, to, to see them coming to us with a cash flow forecast, which is put together sensibly. We'd like to see their list of debtors. So if they were working a year ago on their debtors paying them in 30 days, and now it's 60 days, well, why is that the case? And are there any of those debtors that actually they won't collect their money from? So when we look at viability, it's very much around, can we see how a borrowing is going to be repaid? It's still there to support growing businesses, and as I say, it's a rework of the Small Firm Loan Guarantee Scheme, so it's still there to support growing businesses. But critically now, we're trying to help businesses who are having problems with their cash flow. And the old Small Firm Loan Guarantee Scheme wasn't really structured for that. This one is. It's there to help situations where businesses are having trouble collecting money from their debtors. It's not there just to substitute cash flow problems if you haven't got any sales. If your sales fail and you haven't got any business, then you know, we have to say with quite a heavy heart, we don't think your business is viable. But for those situations where you have a good spread of debtors, but you're just having problems getting the cash in, that's what it's there to help. We want to talk to our businesses, and we don't want to see you at the very last minute when the cash has run out. We need to understand your businesses, and we want to work with you in your businesses as they develop, and, and if you have cash flow problems, we want to know about that as soon as you think you might have the problem. We'd far sooner you come to us and say, I think I might have a cash flow problem in two or three months' time, where we can put an extra bit of overdraft in place for that in case it happens, rather than to be speaking to you on the day that it's all gone wrong and we're having to return checks. Go and speak with your business manager. They know the schemes that are available. They know, they know grants. They know support that's available in their regions. Uh, they are the best people to speak to. So go and speak to your business manager. Your business manager will know all about the Enterprise Finance Guarantee Scheme. Uh, your business manager will know what to do, how to go through the application process. Uh, the old small firm loan guarantee scheme used to take quite a long time to, to get agreed and in place. The Enterprise Finance Guarantee, we know, is often required much quicker. So the banks have the discretion to agree this and then tell the government afterwards. So we have certain criteria that we have to fulfill. So speak with your business manager. They will help you fill the forms out and apply for the scheme. The bank can agree it, so it can be done quite quickly. But the most important thing to bear in mind is your business has to be viable. This isn't free cash from the government. It's a loan which the government's guaranteeing and has to be repaid. From a financial perspective, we do need to see the cash flow forecast and, and really what we're looking at here is 12 months forecast on a sensible basis. Uh, the word we used is a sensitised basis. So for instance, if you're looking at your finance costs and base rate is half a percent there, and your margin is three percent, don't plug that in at three and a half percent for the full year. Plug that in at five and a half percent, just in case base rate goes up. So just think about what might happen that could make your cash flow a little bit more difficult. If you're running today at 30 days on a debtor period, well, let's just assume that your debtor slipped to 45 days and plug that into your cash flow as well. So sensitize the cash flow. 
We like to see any pressure on creditors as well, money you as the business own, uh, owe to somebody else, particularly the VAT and the taxman. We, we don't like to think that they're being kept waiting too long. So we like to see the creditor list as well. We also like to see your supplier lists. Uh, and the important thing there is that if you're linked in to one supplier or indeed to one customer, then that's quite risky. So we need to understand that as well. So we like the cash flow and we like those components that dictate what cash you're going to see coming through and what you have to pay. Then we like to see your profit forecast as well. Now you will have old accounts for the last one or two years. We like to see the trends that have been coming through there, but we like to see where you think it's going as well. So the, the past is the past and we like to see where you think the business is going. So a forecast profit figures uh, are useful as well. The most important piece though is the cash flow. The basic criteria is can we see the, the borrowing repaid? I mean, that's what it's all about. And we know in times of downturn that that's, that's a bit harder than it is in times of a boom economy. So we look at how businesses can repay. Um, we try and be flexible. So, you know, even in a good time, many businesses fail. So typically an average business is about six years old. And after six years, there's only about a fifth of the businesses that started out six years ago still going now. Uh, some of those have failed financially. Many of them have found different things to do. But we critically look at how a business is going to go forward with its cash flow, how it's going to repay a borrowing. So it's, it's all about cash, and cash, cash is king. That's our main criteria. Often, we look for security as well. And the security is the sleep easy piece of the equation. It's not the critical piece. The most important thing is how a business is going to repay its borrowing. The speed in which we can put through an application is quite quick because the banks themselves um, sanction these applications. And indeed, we can make the money available quite quickly. The critical thing, though, is this viability piece. And we need, as banks, to be satisfied that the business is sustainable and is viable. So in terms of time, this could take three days or it could take three weeks. Now, it could take three, week, uh, three weeks if you come to us without the necessary evidence to show viability. It can take three days if you come to us with the cash flow drawn out, with your debtor lists, with your creditor lists, with your supplier lists, with the proper application. And in many ways, that's the job of the business manager and the banks to make sure that you produce this, this information in which we can make the decision quickly. So it can be made available to you quickly if we have all the information, less quickly if you have to go away and, and fill the forms out afterwards.